maybe it's May. I think it should be because this will be 12 vacuums in 12 months for May, where we say goodbye to possibly the most crippled, kneecapped, poor vacuum cleaner I've ever seen. And I won't say upgrade it, I shall say step sideways and change it for the next month. So let's see how this terrible Electrolux got on and as I tell you all the very terrible things about it. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my Electrolux chums. How are you today? Well, Electrolux or Eureka, because yeah, this is one of the pretty much carbon copy clones that we have seen in the vacuum world where the same machine is sold in both markets just with whatever voltage motor slapped into there and they're both terrible really the most standout brilliant best thing about this machine has been the handle that's not even unique to this machine you know, just get a bagged one if you would like to play with a mid 90s electronics upright do not get the bag I mean it's not to say it doesn't work you know as you can see it's quite full and we will take the bin out now just so that when we roll the machine around in a minute we don't tip it over yeah I mean you have to empty this after every two or three uses otherwise the layer of crud which is what that is there builds up on this bit so much that you just lose all the suction power so in a way, it keeps itself quite clean because, yeah, you have to empty it after every use. In terms of, you know, filtration, I mean, it's not going to be great, but the machine's not got covered in rubbish either. I haven't looked at the filters all month, and, yeah, this one is pretty decidedly filthy. Certainly why it says to change it every three months, I mean, that. It's been a month and it needs changing already. So we'll pop that back and pretend that we changed it. In here is where the rest of the filters are. I'll try and tip it up before I take it off. And yeah, millet. It doesn't like millet, bless it. It's just, that's another problem. There's no flipping cable grip thing. So the plug just dangles around like a wally. That's very annoying. Yeah, this filter. Oh, yes. No. I take everything back, it's lost a phenomenal amount of dust, blimey, stupid thing, yeah, in there is full of millet as well, it just doesn't like really lightweight stuff, what will also be full of gunk is everything in here, I mean it will be hanging out of the seals, it will be underneath everything, it will be everywhere, this, yeah, get a bagged one, I mean, the tools, well okay, the hose was not, this isn't the same as our hose that it had, when we started the month, it, the one that was on there was really thin and it literally crushed itself down with the terrible airflow that this thing provides. So I got this for one of the spare ones, which is the right hose, but it is quite short. So whilst it doesn't collapse itself, you have to really pull it tight. In, here we go, that, that happens. In order to plug it in. So yeah, not, not fab. This has been okay. Though the tools, you have to use the crevice tool a lot because that concentrates the suction and makes it actually do something. The real reason this machine probably survives is because it hasn't got the very expensive HEPA post filter. And it's also not too bad. I mean, I'm seeing a swipe with my finger, of course. I mean, you, know, you wouldn't not on a machine like this. But again, it's not terrible. It's not gone near plaster dust. I've used another vacuum for that. I mean, yeah, that's... That's full of dust as well, bless it. These, these were a hurried response to the rapid rise in Dyson's popularity, I think, and they were terrible for it. They just, just get a bad one. I mean, the second best thing about the whole thing has been this bottom part here. Those felt strip thing that we put on there lasted about four pushes before it fell off so yeah this then went back to being terrible for hard floor but it wasn't really designed for hard floors in mind this would have dated back probably from the early 90s as a sketch on a piece of paper and obviously back then everybody had carpet laminate flooring wasn't really a thing so yeah it's carpet only the brush roll is magnificent really stiff very nice grooms well which is why you know it literally pulls out 
this would only be from this rug because I can only really use it on this rug. And upstairs, it does rip the dirt out. Again, if it had been bagged, like that very nice one that we did for Mr. James earlier on in the year, it would have been lovely. But it's not. So it was okay. I can certainly see why these things would have got thrown away in their thousands, probably within three or four years of being bought. Ah, there we go. See, this is how my aunt's one broke. This is my memory of one of these. It wasn't the boss, it was the Electrolux version, but obviously we made this out of scrap. So, that's fine. She broke the catch on hers. I remember it being at my granny and granddad's house. And granddad was always very practical. I think it's where I got it from. And yeah, you couldn't glue it together because it's made of the plastic that doesn't bloom. And um, she had to get a whole new cyclone. I think she had to pay for it as well because it, it, you know, it was accidental damage rather than a design flaw. And that's my abiding memory of these. I think she had it a couple of years. And then I don't really know what happened to it after that. The machine she had before this was a Hoover Turbo Power U2662, which we had when she got rid of it for this. And it outlasted this as well before we got rid of it, way back before I started really being interested in vacuums. So that's pretty much why I wanted to use this machine. I haven't gone near the extendable hose. I think I might even know where it is. These, bless them. I'm glad we've used it, but I mean, blimey, if I ever think about using a bagless one again, I'm not going to. Maybe a bag, a bag one would be phenomenally better, but a bagless one, no. It's, it, it is of its time. It is an early I guess a prototype, really. Bagless vacuum cleaner. And my goodness, does it show. <sighs> Excellent everywhere else, bar that bit there. So, on that note, we're going to go from one terrible bagless system to another. Yeah, it's out with the old. And in with the old. Yes, we are going to use the Dwarfy Richards profile, performer, whatever you want to call it, clarity if you read the bottom, but I've been looking forward to this for a little while, so I thought what better way to go from a really terrible bagless system than to go to a quite terrible bagless system. Yeah, we have ourselves now pleated in a filter, and we're also going to measure this thing has faded again, back up in the loft, we have this retro brighted at the beginning of the after video and now sadly six odd months later she is no looking as nice let's let's take the bin off and not a lot to show you really that's changed since the after video because i haven't used it this thing is literally as good as a brand new out of the box morphe richard clarity although with some condensation drips from the roof of my house, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, in here, washed, clean, still smells of flipping lavender, but it probably won't after this month now. It will be quite nice. And yeah, of course, Morphe Riches knew that the old pleated inner filter is a little bit crap, so they gave you a knob. So every time I finish using it, I can turn it and my filter will be spotless. And I'm going to try and go the whole month without looking at it at all. In fact, I might even probably have to empty it a couple of times. But, you know, we're going to go the whole month without having to check the filter. We also get a fantastic hose if we just drop the cable down because it is properly in the way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, well, we got ourselves a 2009 Hoover Twin, yeah, Electrolux Twin Turbo. So we can put the hose in, and I can actually have a nice long hose that almost stretches across the room, and you can even pull the machine about with it with no care in the world. So that's nice. We will have a load more suction than that, and of course I can take it off, and the machine is, I'll say light, because it is light, it's certainly no less bulky, <laughs> but it's also no less lighter, because you have to store the hose on the machine. Ah, oh, fantastic. Right, let's plug it in and see if it's broken itself. I also don't think we tried it on this rug, so this could hate it, and this could be a terrible idea. <laughs> that is 
going to be a pain in the butt, I'm not being able to go over the side of the rug, the tiny little brush roll isn't helping it there. But, unlike the Electro Sucks, we can now turn off, turn off the brush roll. And this thing was always quite good on the old hard floor. I don't have a decent bit of air for a certain unnamed cordless bag vacuum cleaner it's kept all of its dirt inside of itself there's not even any in the filter which is brilliant because you can't buy any filters anymore i looked uh oh how does this go so you go in there first no come on i've done this once ah there we go that'll do and yeah we have dirt in our bin and not leaking out somewhere around a seal. It's all in there. I don't think any of it's escaped. And look, we can clean the filter. There we go. That's ready to go again. And wow, that's, that's dug up quite a lot actually. This is going to be interesting because this is an era of vacuum cleaners that passed me by completely. I was 2009, well, I was working at the time. I was young, working in the day, partying at night, without a care in the world when this sort of rubbish was being sold. So you yeah, didn't really ever get a chance to use them new. And by, all, by our testing so far, this isn't a bad old Hexo. Again, it's not going to be brilliant, but it's certainly a lot nicer to use and it should be interesting to have a whole month with it. So what do you think? Do you prefer the DB or the Electrolux? Do comment down below how do you think we're going to get on and yeah I almost promise although I'm going to try to do everything I can to not need to not have a look at the filter. If it needs emptying it will just get dumped put back in, I shall turn, I shall turn the knob daily and all will be well. And hopefully in a month this thing won't have burnt out through lack of maintenance and hey, I may have even used the awful upholstery tool. Can't promise though. But until the next video, I and some other terrible cheap vacuum cleaner will see you soon. Bye bye.